So uh, yeah, my name is Jay Bant, and I'm an engineer at Onai. And today I'll be talking about our project on scaled analysis of medical records with the funding from NSF. Uh, so the problem is that medical records are very rich in information, but we don't have a good way of studying them at scale. Traditionally, uh, studies happened uh, in individual hospitals on records within that hospital. And even there, it's laborious with residents and students manually transcribing data into spreadsheets. This process is also really slow. In situations like uh, COVID-19, this is unacceptable. We don't wanna wait until one hospital has enough data for statistically significant studies to happen. And that's what wound up happening. Um, I mean, that's what uh, winds up happening usually. Uh, but we really wanna uh, get results at early stages of the spread. And for that, we need to be able to do studies across a number of hospitals in aggregate. There are really basic questions that you think would be easy to answer in this day and age, but they were not easy for COVID and still aren't even today. For example, does blood pressure medication improve or worsen COVID? Tens of millions of Americans uh, are taking these blood pressure medications, so you would think that this would be an easy question to answer just based on looking at outcomes for patients who take uh, blood pressure medication and wound up in the hospital with COVID. It should be as simple as a Google search query, but it's not. So our goal was to enable a rapid research over medical records across a number of healthcare institutions in an efficient manner and without sacrificing privacy. With our tools, uh, healthcare institutions and pharmaceutical companies can reach statistically significant populations much quicker and research can be conducted right away. It's also more secure. So can we get the best of both worlds? Can we get a huge pool of data for research and at the same time maximize security? Yes, we can with um, this cryptographic technology. Um, so this technology uh, to achieve this goal is called a magical technique called secure multi-party computation. This allows a set of parties to jointly compute a result over their inputs without revealing their inputs to each other or anyone else. One example of this is called uh, Yao's millionaire problem. Andrew Yao introduced this in 1982, and it's where two millionaires, Alice and Bob, want to know which one of them is richer without revealing their actual wealth. So you have two people, Alice and Bob. They each know their own wealth, but don't want to tell the other person. And let's say there's uh, they don't want to involve a third party, so no IRS or anything. Can you think of a way uh, for them to figure out which of them is richer? Well, believe it or not, it turns out there is a way to do this. Um, and as another example, let's say we want to calculate the average of social security numbers of everyone in this webinar, but we don't want to reveal our social security number to each other. Is there a way we can do it? Yes, there is with the secure NPC. We applied the same concept to health records and uh, the result of a square query is computed across multiple hospitals without the hospitals needing to transmit or reveal any records. We demonstrated this across a few disparate sites in our project. Uh, here are some of the examples, uh, qu uh, examples of queries one might be interested in asking, like the average length of stay in the hospital for patients over 70, or what percentage of very young patients wound up on a ventilator. For a more cryptographic, graphically savvy audience, uh, we used a mascot for MPC technique. I won't go into the details now, but you can ask me about this uh, later if you're interested. Uh, the only thing I'll mention here is that this protocol is secure against dishonest majority. 
which means that this protocol is secure even if a majority of the participants are malicious. Uh, I want to reiterate that with our approach, no data ever leaves the hospital. Uh, each data's hospital is completely siloed. Um, IT departments really like this as they don't have to worry about security. Not just that, uh, nothing can be reverse engineered. And coordination uh, of the computations is via blockchain or distributed ledger. This framework also enables more equitable clinical trials. Traditionally, patient populations in clinical trials have not been very diverse. Uh, one of the priorities of FDA and others is to improve that. And with this technology, sites with patients of interest can be located, even if they're not institutions a com company typically works with. And since then, we have extended this approach from worrying to training AI models across disparate sites in a privacy-preserving manner. We are also working with the NIH for privacy-preserving drug discovery. Our end vision here is to have a privacy-preserving intelligence network across biomedicine. Um, thank you for listening, and I would like to thank KIC for this opportunity uh, and NSF for funding this project, uh, our collaborators across the country, and my colleagues at ONI. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions uh, at the end of the session. Um, thank you again.